Welcome back to SiliconANGLE TV. We're here at IBM Edge 2012, and uh, I am John MacArthur, president of Walden Technology Partners. Um, we're joined right now with uh, Jim Torney uh, from Essex Tech and Bill uh, Bielczewski, who's VP of Technology Solutions and Services. And so, um, we're going to. Uh, uh, Essex Tech was just uh, awarded a uh, uh, received an award from IBM as a as a channel as their channel partner. And uh, Jim, why don't you tell us a little bit about Essex Tech and sure. what you did to win your award? Sure, you bet. Uh, Essex Tech is an infrastructure services provider, doing uh, cloud computing solutions also with IBM. We're headquartered in the Northeast, so that is uh, Delaware Valley, Central Pennsylvania, New York Metro area. And uh, we were recognized for that uh, award because of the storage solutions that we've implemented uh, with IBM software and storage products for customers. Mm -hmm. And our commitment to our own skills and how it benefits the, the customer. And you came down here with a, a, a lot of your own team. Yeah, a team of people to make sure we're current, uh, both technically and sales education wise on the latest from IBM storage solutions. Okay. And Bill, yes. uh, you spend most of your time uh, customer facing, uh, helping them with their problems, is that right? Customer facing, I manage the technology, our pre-sales solution architects and our billable uh, implementation consultants. Mm -hmm. So I like to have a lot of customer face time to understand the solutions. Uh, I'm not sitting up in the ivory tower, and so I have a better understanding of what our solution architects are seeing at the customer base so we can tailor our training and education uh, to meet our clients. And how many solutions architects do you have? I have six pre-sale solution architects and seven implementation systems yeah. consultants. What are the, some of the problems that, that they're uh, trying to help the customers with? Customers uh, right now, high availability and disaster recovery is a key point and data migration. And, and the high availability, is that specific to virtualized environments or just in general? Uh, both. Standard. Why high availability? Why is that a hot button today? Uh, customers are looking to consolidate, they're consolidating their data centers, but they're also, they have diverse locations and now they realize that uh, we can bring in-house our own high availability solution. So they use a remote location, a small uh, area for their business where they can put uh, replication systems. So if their business is affected or something happens at their primary location, they, they just replicate over and continue their business. Irene came whipping through your area recently, right? How did that affect sort of the thinking of the customers in terms of what they need to think about in terms of disaster recovery? It's surprising when those uh, hurricanes and storms come through, the phones uh, start ringing. And it says, yeah, we, I know we've been talking to you about this. I think we have to talk seriously now. Did, so, so did... So, uh, so it, that's often the case is people th uh, it becomes a high priority uh, right. when it happens that then people also s tend to have short memories um, so what are the kinds of solutions that you've been able to implement sort of post Irene well we had uh, well outside of Irene but it, it worked into the high availability uh, we had a large county government mm -hmm. they had HP storage installed uh, it was starting to age but it wasn't off of lease yet so they had a problem. What do we do? We want new storage, we want more robust storage, yep. but we, you know, we're stuck in this lease. So we went in and we developed a solution. We talked to them about the IBM V7000. Mm -hmm. And what that allowed us to do with the V7000 being it's based uh, off the SAN volume control, this uh, SVC right. technology, we told them that we can bring in, they can keep their HP storage, put in a background as a lower tiered development storage, and then introduce the uh, V7000, and we can seamlessly, non-disruptively migrate the data from the HP storage onto the new IBM production storage. Okay. And then, as part of that solution, we added V7000s at their remote locations for replication purposes for the uh, high availability. What purpose. kind of distance are they looking for between the primary? Uh, and this the one was uh, located within the same town, but different buildings. Uh, okay. They built a brand new data center for the production production center, and they used the old data center as a replication. So they site. can survive a tornado, but not a not a uh, Katrina style flood. Right, and they were looking more at you know, in that area that they were in. They had brownouts and power failures, and that, so so that's they why they knew to build. Are they in a new power grid then? For the new the power other? grid, new yeah. building, new technology. So, and we're going back, and they continually ask us to upgrade. The, the scalability of V7000 is great for them. Uh, we're upgrading it. We're taking advantage of the, um, the smart storage with the easy tier, 
mm-hmm. putting solid state drives in there, and now they're starting to see the benefit uh, with the HP stores now sitting in the background. Save them money on that end because they had the lease and they didn't have to cancel the lease and pay a penalty. Okay. And they'll take advantage of that. Uh, do, are, are, do you also work with IBM Global Finance in uh, sort of creating sure. sort yeah. of uh, financial solutions sure. to those kinds of problems? Sure. Work with sure. them on take equipment takeouts and things like Absolutely. that? Absolutely. Yeah. Right. So. I think also it's important um, today, you've got to have high availability for your customer. You've got to have a disaster recovery plan. And now you're considering hosting or cloud computing. You can't just go one. If you've got a disaster recovery plan, well, that's fine. That's for recovery. But you need high availability and redundancy for your ongoing business before any of those occurs. The storage solutions that are, are being proposed with you know, easy tier, auto optimization, virtualization, lend themselves perfectly into a private or public cloud environment because of those particular features right there. So we will work with clients on either managing what they have on site, but we'll manage it for you, Mm -hmm. or we'll put it in a hosting center, or we'll implement cloud, or we'll help you implement cloud. So those solutions um, are, are what we're seeing a lot of success in, and whether it's Irene that blows through, or just today, with the cost of computing coming down through managed services, almost every customer now is considering that option. Whereas 10 years ago... Is it considering was managed a, service? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. Right. To right, lower so their costs and get better availability. How much of your business is starting to come from managed services? Yeah. Um, so when you go back, it was maybe 2%. Mm-hmm. Uh, today, it's 6 or 7%, but I can see it being 25% in just a few years. Yeah. So big investment area for you. In, yes, you know. big growth area. Right, right. So um, I want to go back to this uh, use case with the county government. Yes. So uh, all deals are competitive these days. Who are you up against on this? Um, well, HP we're up against, yeah. and then EMC took a shot at it. Okay. All right, but um, one of the keys to our solution development is you know we're pure IBM. All right, we sell IBM Power Servers, IBM X86 servers. So when we work with our customers and we develop that solution and we include the IBM storage in there, we can go in there with confidence and say it's going to work. Because mm-hmm. right, of the thorough testing that IBM does, you know, we've had so many uh, situations where customers say, well, I got this EMC or I got this HP storage, you know, attach it for now. And there's compatibility problems or issues and then the finger pointing starts. So being a, a, you know, selling a total IBM solution works to our advantage. Uh, and, and and you don't find that problem with the HP storage behind the SVC? Don't, no, no dealing with that, the that's finger pointing? The, the, that's the, the great thing about the SVC when that was first announced and as IBM increased, uh, the competitive storage that you can place behind it. Because customers, you know, they still might keep that storage, as I said earlier, for development purposes or for backup or lower tiered storage. Right? It's that non-disruptive migration that's the key to the cell. I think SVC has been around for about nine yeah. years, right? Yeah. Something like that. Right. So, have you been selling it all along? We've been selling the SVC uh, front ending it in front of IBM, either IBM storage. Mm-hmm. Now with the V7000, it's basically SVC with storage under the covers. Right. Right. Okay. And uh, what we've been very successful with is what the IBM calls their RAS bundle, rapid application systems, or the the RAB, the uh, rapid application backup. So we include typically software as part of that solution. How do you how do you view uh, the pure systems? Um, Announcement and how does that impact your your business? The, I, the, the integrated servers. Is, yeah. It's interesting because Essex Tech as a company, we were developing our own quasi pure systems. We called it our. Uh, you were doing all your V pillar. Yeah, we yeah. called it our V pillar, where we would integrate all the IBM components, the System X processors, or mm-hmm. chassis with power blades, the IBM V7000 storage, and build it together and integrate it internally in our house, and then send it out to a customer. So now that Pure System came out, it, that's going to work well for us, especially for our customer environment, because we have a wide range of power system customers and x86 customers. And uh, with the integrated storage, that just adds to that total solution, coming under one serial number, one part number. So it's going to be a lot easier down the road for the customer when they call for support. That's the other key. When you sell a single solution from one vendor, that the old adage, you know, one throat to choke, mm-hmm. it still works. Yep. Customers are looking as they cut back on their IT staffs that they know they have one number to call and they're going to get the support they need. What are you seeing in terms of, is it, so in, in order for a customer to say, I'm, get, I'm ready to move forward in this, what kind of cost savings do you have to show them? Or what kind of, what kind of impact do you have to have 
on their on how are they evaluating ROI? Return well, we do an ROI analysis. Some customers ask for it, but we could talk to them. We talk to them about the uh, tiering of the storage, mm -hmm. right? You know, we can cut back. You know, SSD high valued storage. You know, it's got to go on high valued data. Right, so now they see the value, they can cost justify the acquisition of the solution based on the uh, unified storage of having file data, block data, slow, fat spinning disk, and SSD drives. Yeah. Other, uh, any other case studies, uh, recent case studies, WENS, that you can talk about that, uh, that were sort of interesting? Well, we had a, um, a large pension fund in uh, New York. Um, they were looking to consolidate their data center. So we got very creative on that one, and that's the... They had multiple data centers and they wanted to get down to one, or...? Well, they wanted to consolidate the space in the data center. Oh, okay. Real estate in New York is expensive. Yeah, I've heard so that. So they were cutting back <laughs> on space. Even uh, in this economy. Uh, so we got very creative with them. We actually took power blades in a blade center chassis, running a Linux operating system, and then we attached that to V7000 storage. Okay. So they had you know power with I running uh, internal storage, but we moved into a SAN environment. Now with this consolidation, this will allow them to take their x86 blades and x86 servers and integrate it into that SAN environment attached to those V7000s we sold. I think IBM's always been known as a, uh, as a total solutions provider. Right? Right. So you talk about integrated server storage, everything works together, so one store to choke, and that's great. And the, the you know the uh, the alternative to that is sort of best of breed solutions. When you go to when, when you come to IBM Edge, I mean the reason IBM's doing this is, and it seems to me is to raise the visibility specifically on their storage capabilities, right? Right. Specifically to storage. How important in your business is that total solution, and how important is it for you to have IBM delivering? best of breed solutions? Do they have to do both? Uh, it's better very, to get, is better right. together more important than? <laughs> right. No, it, it works well, you know, to, the total solution works. And IBM, very strong in storage over the years, invented tape, then it got away from it a little bit, and they were OEM and equipment from NetApp and other LSI. Yeah, LSI, and other and, right. right. Then they came out with the SVC, mm -hmm. And then they came out with the V7000 and the DS8000. So they're, they're back to their roots. They're back to developing high... Or acquiring. Right, acquired. Uh, well, XIV <laughs> was acquired. And, but and, they're putting and, their, yep, yeah, yep. they're putting their spin and on it. And the V7000. Right. But I think so. it also add to your, qu your qu question is that, you know, some customers want to build their own. And they right. have their own business reasons for doing that. Right. And therefore you'd want best of breed in that situation. Right. But when you come down to toward the middle market, um, and you talk to the CFO, well, the CFO wants to optimize costs and would trade off to get everything integrated. Right. But also on the integration side, with Pure Systems, you're getting better response time, the auto optimization, and and those things make a huge difference. So. While it is um, customer dependent, I, I would say that uh, the benefit of integrated is 70% uh, of the market would well, we've choose that. We, uh, we've certainly learned that there's not one type of customer, haven't we? Yeah. Right. Right. So, well, I appreciate you coming on with us today. Uh, Jim Torney, uh, president of uh, Essex Tech, and uh, Bill, uh, Bill Bieljeski, yep. uh, VP of uh, Solutions and Services. Uh, at SX Tech. Thank you for joining us today you, here Brad. on theCUBE. We're going to take a short break.